So in the previous video I showed you how to use the bubble sort method to sort the jars into order of weight and I, it took me 47 comparisons. I'm now going to show you how to use the quick sort method which uh, as you'd imagine from the name is a quicker way of doing it, a more efficient way and the way that computers often uh, use to sort things. So this technique relies on you picking a jar um, so quite often it's the one in the middle but it doesn't need to be so pick one jar and compare all the others with that jar and if the jar I'm comparing with F uh, is lighter I'm going to put it on the left and if it's heavier then I'm going to put it on the right so A is lighter so that goes on the left B is also lighter so I carry on C is heavier so I'm going to put it on the right D also heavier as is E G is lighter, so that goes on the left, as is H, as is I, as is J. OK, so there's one space left, so if we put F in there, we know that F is in the right place. All the jars to the left of F are lighter, and all the jars to the right of F are lighter. So what we can do is that we just re repeat that process with each sublist. So I'll do that with the jars to the right of F. So I'm going to compare them all with D. Okay, so C is lighter than D, so it goes there. E is also lighter, so it goes there. And we know that D is the heaviest of all, so we'll put it there. So then we need to repeat the process. We know that F and D are in the right place. We're not sure about C and E, so we can um, compare those so C and E we know that E is heavier so we know that F C E and D are now in the right place I'm putting these jars back by right clicking by the way so I can so we now need to sort the list to the left of F so I'll compare them all with G as I said it doesn't really matter which one so F um, sorry A um, is lighter so left B lighter H lighter, I lighter, and J is lighter. Now I've been slightly unlucky there because if you do pick the heaviest or the lightest then it does take slightly longer but we now know that G is in the right place so we then repeat that process with this list so I'll pick a different one, H, so um, A, B, so B is heavier so that's going to go there so we know G is in the right place. It's a little bit tricky because you have to remember kind of where you got to. Um, so that's there and that is there. So H is now in the right place. So what we need to do then, oh, in fact, I've, I have been lucky uh, because I might have needed to check whether J and B are the right way round and whether A and I are the right way round. But in fact, because it um, checks that the jars are in the right order before I've actually finished then it's it's told me that, that I've got it right and as you can see I've got it right in 21 steps so the quick sort is indeed uh, quicker it took less than half the number of comparisons that it took me to use the bubble sort method again if you want to compare the different methods there is a link in the help section sorting algorithms and that allows you to either sort um, 10 numbers um, well the default is to have them in reverse order but you can click random and uh, pick some numbers or you can put numbers in of your own and see how they get sorted using uh, one of these five methods so you can select a selection sort for example uh, you can click go and it will show you what it's doing and on the right hand side uh, there'll be a sort of commentary and you can adjust the speed so once you're happy that you know how it works you can speed it up and you can just get to the end and it'll tell you how many comparisons and swaps were required. So in that case the selection sort took 45 comparisons and 18 swaps. If we do the same thing with the bubble sort, we can see it took 63 comparisons and 18 swaps. And if we do the same thing with the quick sort, You can see it took 33 comparisons and 18 shifts. The thing about these uh, different methods are the bubble sort generally takes the same number of steps 
um, well, it will have the same number of comparisons, might need be a different number of swaps, um, whereas the, the result for the quicksort does depend on the order of the numbers to begin with, so whether they were almost in order or whether they were completely reversed. So that's there for you to have a look at as well, and you can try and implement those different methods if you like, if you fancy a challenge, uh, using the, um, the balance.